In my view, the core humanitarian standard is going to revolutionize the humanitarian sector. It allows us to link the field workers, the local partners, the institutions, the organizations within the humanitarian architecture behind one cause, and that is harmonizing and simplifying the standard that we have. Um, it will allow, I think, and especially the people in the field, to be able to um, respond in a way that makes sense. In ACT Alliance, uh, Dan Churchaid, who is a member of ACT Alliance, we will be rolling out the CHS immediately. We've been working with these quality and accountability standards, a plethora of them, and now we're going to focus on the CHS as our main core, core humanitarian standard for the organization. So in the next year's time, all our staff and partners will be introduced uh, quite thoroughly to a rollout, hopefully using some online technology and online training, and of course conversations. This has to do with conversations with communities and with local partners, and that's the job that Dan Church Aid and our staff and our partners in the field will be carrying out in the next year's time. At this time, I think it's really important that the entire humanitarian community is behind this core humanitarian standard, or CHS. We have a chance here to show the world that we can coordinate, we can be more effective, we can be more careful with the resources that are entrusted to us, and we can improve our humanitarian aid by listening and incorporating what people in the field are telling us, and by allowing the, the power of the local organizations and the communities who are closest to these emergencies to actually uh, take command of their situation. I think the CHS gives us that chance. So I hope we allow that natural process to take place and we back it up, that we don't uh, try and derail this process by long bureaucratic discussions in headquarters around the world, but rather let field workers and our local partners around the world take uh, the scene and the place on the uh, international scene that they de deserve.